Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Earlier today, Fred Hoiberg met with the media on behalf of men's hoops to discuss adjustments he's made to his team's game plan that have yielded improving results. You know, you look at our numbers since we changed our system, uh, you know, which is pretty rare to change your system in the middle of the season. I just felt it was a move that we had to make. Um, you know, from going as a 25% shooting team, I think the last seven were over 39. And, you know, getting to the point where, you know, our shot selection is much better, it's led to that. Now we got to, you know, find a way to get the necessary stops, and get the proper execution down the stretch. You know, in the Indiana game the other night, we had two wide open threes with under two minutes to play. Unfortunately, they didn't go down. You know, you got to make those plays. And, uh, you know, when those shots present themselves, got to find a way to knock those down if we're going to get over the hump. The Nebraska women's basketball game at Illinois, originally scheduled for Sunday, January 23rd at 2 p.m. in Champaign, has been postponed due to health and safety protocols within the Husker program. Per the amended Big Ten Conference 2021-2022 forfeiture guidelines, this game will be postponed, and the conference office will coordinate the rescheduling process. If the game is not able to be rescheduled, it would count as a no contest for both teams. But in better news, Nebraska women's basketball also announced that the Rutgers game that was postponed this past Thursday will be rescheduled for Tuesday, February 1st at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. Ticket holders for Nebraska's originally scheduled game with Rutgers on January 20th will be able to use those tickets for admittance to the February 1st contest at PBA. Elsewhere in college basketball tonight, the Big Ten men's slate is two games in action tonight. Illinois is without Kofi Coburn. They are taking on Maryland. That one is just tipping off. And at 8 p.m., number 14, Michigan State will take on number 8, Wisconsin. No, game in, uh, no games in the Big Ten women's slate, but keep an eye on these top 25 matchups. Seton Hall just tipped off against ninth-ranked UConn. Number 22, Colorado, and 8-5 and five Arizona State are also just underway. 9-4 and four Utah tips off against number 10, Arizona, at 8 p.m. And then the nightcap game. Cal will take on number two, Stanford. In pro sports, the NFL made some headlines today with some changes in front offices and coaching staffs. Expect a few more of those coming up in the coming days. But the New York Giants announced the hiring of new general manager Joe Schoen, formerly the assistant general manager of the Buffalo Bills. That'll make Jeremiah... Uh, very happy seeing one of his bills move on. And then the Ravens just a few minutes ago announced they fired their defensive coordinator, Wink Martindale, who had been uh, with just one year left on his contract. That's the ticker. My name's Tim Mulhaupt, and you're listening to Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Looks for high beat, foul line extended right side. Dribble penetration, Sammy drives and scores! Jim Ivey! Great finish by Nebraska, they're back within a possession. Here's McGowan's driving the ball to the rim and jams it right in the face of Payne. Posterized him! Put him on the poster. Burge puts his head down, drives it, floater off the rim, in and out, offensive rebound, put back, up and good by Walker, up and good by Big D. Moriarty going to take the baseline, and now she's going to drive underneath reverse layup, good for Kendall Moriarty, are you kidding me? Now that is a big time one-handed reverse layup by Moriarty. 12.45 to go, here's Trey McGowan's with a three, got it! Trey McGowan's, his first three-point attempt of the year. After sitting all these games with a broken foot, his first shot is gold. 82-73, then Iowa lead out top Markowski for three. You betcha! Markowski has hit six threes. Unbelievable. And she's got 27 points. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Disappointed, I thought Tim got the memo to stop talking about postponements. But we have another one today. We kind of anticipated this, that the Oscar women's game on Sunday with Illinois not going to take place. Still uh, safety and health protocols within the Husker program. The good news is by when, when you see a rescheduling of a game for February 1st, gives you a feeling that Nebraska's confident that they're going to come out of this pretty quick. Well, and you heard Coach Manning talking last night that, hey, we've got herd immunity now because it's (laughs) kind of been through the team, so maybe it'll be the case for the two basketball teams and we won't have to worry about it again. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. So no women's game, no basketball all weekend for the Oscars. The men's game we knew would be postponed. It is sad. What was interesting today, Jessica, was the order of the announcements of these things. It was bright and early, like at 7 a.m. Iowa puts out, Iowa women's program put out, we're hosting Illinois Sunday at 2. You're like, wait, we're playing Illinois Sunday. Right. Nebraska had not yet canceled the game or postponed the game. 
you're kind of shouldn't somebody postpone playing somebody before they announce they're already playing somebody else but yeah, well, and I had talked to um, Seamus when, you know, kind of the dominoes kind of started to fall, and he said it, it all kind of comes from the Big Ten right. office. So maybe the Big Ten failed to communicate to Iowa, hey, let's let Nebraska announce first that they can't right. play Illinois before you guys put out that you're playing Illinois. It's a bad look. Yeah. It really is. I mean, it, it, you know, it all's going to work out okay, but I, I saw that. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, so I guess we're not playing because everybody has said we're not not playing. So disappointed. I know Amy Williams is disappointed. She wants to get that team back out there and play. Uh, they're in a stretch of games that they think they can can do well in. So if you had tickets for that Rutgers game from last night, hang on to them. You'll be able to use them, as Tim told you, on February the 1st when the Scarlet Knights come here. I was worried about that. I didn't know whether Rutgers would fly all the way out here to play it, so I'm glad it's going to happen. Well, yeah, and again, just with all the – it's it's not like – the women play Monday, Thursday, and the men play Tuesday, Friday, or, you know, they play almost every night of the week sometimes. Yeah. And it's, you know, you're seeing matchups each night, men's and women's. And so it's kind of, be, it makes it tricky to schedule. And then, like you mentioned, the travel and all of that, and then the days off that you're required by the NCAA, it's, it's uh, kind of a nightmare. But I'm glad that they got that figured out because, um, you know, not that you take teams lightly again, but Rutgers, a very winnable game for this team, but then also getting a, that game back inside PBA. You're not losing it completely. Right, right. So if there are no more cancellations for the women, they will play again next Thursday with Wisconsin. Then on Sunday, they have a home game with uh, Purdue. And then, t- then it would be the makeup game with Rutgers on Tuesday. And then there's another game with Penn State on Thursday. That's four games in eight ga- eight days. Worried about that? No, I'm not. I think, well, it's I mean, a lot. we'll see injury-wise. No travel. All those are at home. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That, that's really nice. And we'll see, hopefully they're getting healthy injury-wise. Because that, yeah. as we've talked so much about this whole week, it's not even so much, uh, probably as much about COVID and this team having COVID as it is. They're also hit by the injury bug. So, um, you know, Bello is coming off the injury. Hopefully she's back healthy. If she can get back healthy and then, you know, depending on what how Sam is and, and a couple of the other players. Um, but, you know, I said it last night. I, th- I do think maybe we could look back and think, oh, this might be a good stretch that maybe some, some players can get healthy. Um, they're deep enough when they're healthy that I don't. I'm not worried about four games in eight days, but it just depends on are they going to have everybody available. An extra couple days for Sam Hybe's shoulder can't hurt. No. It's got to help. Yeah. And Jazz should be cleared through her her protocol by that point in time. So, again, it's going to be a lot of basketball, four games in eight days, if they don't have to miss any more from this point on. It might be good, too, because you think about this stretch where they're losing now to kind of play bang, bang, bang and get back and kind of get in the swing of things. A lot of times – People don't, players don't like the stretch in between games. They want to get back out there. So maybe it will be good to get back a a feel back of, you know, that game shape and and all of that, seeing that they've, they're going to have a stretch of how long is the stretch going to end up being? Know what? Well, it's four and eight and then five and 11. But how many days from? Oh, between games. Between they, when they play. Now I'm going to have to get my calculator (laughs) out and add it. So they played Sunday. Right. So it'll be a a full week. If they play next Thursday, uh, it'll be 10 days off. Yeah. That's so, not awful. It's not awful, but it's not ideal either. Right. So four and eight. So folks, you got tickets. You're going to have a lot of chances to see them play. I think it really helps on the fatigue factor that they don't have to travel. They'll be yes, in their own yeah. beds every night. They don't have to hike out to the airport, get on a plane, go stay in a hotel, all those type of things. So that should be helpful. Also today, Nebraska officially announced the addition of Chuba Purdy to the quarterback room. Young man from Florida State, only played in one game for the Seminoles this year. Had a terrific outing. Came in against North Carolina State, 5 for 5 through two touchdown passes. His older brother has been the quarterback at Iowa State for the last couple of years. And Nebraska won a recruiting battle for him with Oklahoma. How, so your thoughts about adding a Purdy to the quarterback room? Won both quarterbacks of the battle with Oklahoma. Absolutely. Uh, Casey Thompson also um, had an offer from Oklahoma. So both the quarterbacks coming in from the portal, uh, Nebraska won over Oklahoma. But, yeah, I think it's good to build depth in there and competition. And we're going to hear Jeremiah talking about it um, here in a little bit. But, um, you know, we we've, throughout all the process of, you know, the recruiting, you've seen the articles and you've seen the stories that um, – uh, Chuba and Coach Whipple go way back, and they have a prior relationship, and there's that trust factor there. 
going back to that relationship talk that we've talked a lot about in these players and, and kind of how they relate to these coaches. And I know that um, Chubba has a, a great relationship with Whipple and, and you know, likes the system. And so um, I, I actually saw him yesterday. He was on campus kind of going through all the process of getting the uh, DEXA scan. I think that's right, right? Is that what it's is called? That, is that what it's called? I, uh, you're, I don't know. You're over my head now. That. Dave is going to inform us about it next week, but <laughs> oh, I'm just not an good. expert on it today yet. I just saw it happen. Um, and he's a big guy, you know, and so um, – it's it's good to have the depth, good to have the competition. And, you know, Jeremiah brought it up. It's you Think about the last time that Nebraska had a quarterback battle. He said that he thought he was playing. Probably right. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, it's just – it's good to kind of have that. And I don't think either one of those guys are scared about coming in and, and competing for it. Casey has a lot more experience. Yes, Chubba yeah. just played the one game, but, you know, both four-star quarterbacks coming out of high school – the, the odds on favorite has to be Casey. Yeah, the, there's the no time. doubt. But they're not going to just hand him the job. Or should they? And I don't think Casey wants that. Right. You know, I, he wants to come in and compete and win the job and earn it. And that's kind of how you earn this, the teammates' trust. And and But Chubb is not coming in here thinking, oh, I'm just going to play the backup. He's right. going to come in here thinking that, you know, I'm going to compete for the starting job. And if it, I'm the backup and I wait my turn, then then that's great too. But none of those guys are coming in here thinking, oh, I'm just going to – I'm just going to sit back and not be the starter. They're all going to go through spring ball competing for that job, which is good. It's It, it absolutely is is a positive for this football team. And Logan's there, too. Yeah. So I, you, you, it, the dynamics are going to be really fascinating to watch in the coming months. It's going to sell a lot of tickets for the spring game. Yeah, and I, I, I really think so. Uh, yeah, I mean, because you're going to get to see those guys. And actually, you know, a lot of times you might see quarterbacks in the past, you know, that – waiting behind Adrian but this is going to be the first time you're going to see these guys right and you know they're probably both going to play you know sometimes they hold quarterbacks out of, of spring games and but they're probably both going to play and uh, all of them I should say not both but all of those quarterbacks are going to get um so yeah it's going to be fascinating and and not only just the quarterback but the whole offense as a whole to see all those um how it all kind of comes together it's going to be fun to get to see that tickets go on sale for season ticket holders february 1st for the general public february the 2nd for the spring game which is april the 9th so there you go that's coming up and as somebody put up put out a couple nights ago i think it's 86 days now away from the spring game so it's not that far away it's sure going to be fun but uh, it took a few days to get chubba's transcripts up here you have to get all that sent certain ways and everybody's getting back into school that's why the delay in getting his announcement official and put out there uh i I had somebody call me yesterday is there something going on i'm like no no it's just the standard stuff they're trying to get all their make all sure all the paperwork gets in yeah it's just kind of a process and i'm sure (laughs) i'm sure just with a new semester and a lot of different not even just athletes but you got students coming in and um you got to get all that, you know, situated with internally within. Well, Chubba didn't pick till Monday. Sunday, Monday or Sunday? Yeah. So is this like four it days? Was this four, weekend? Because he yeah. was here visiting this weekend with the coldest. Right. Um. So he, you know, Chubba hadn't committed yet, so I didn't ask the coldest about it. Right. But you know. I, DeColdis actually tweeted how, you know, about, because he is all in on, you know, social media. You recall I asked him about that in the interview. He is all in on the Huskers and is uh, tweeting about it. And so he put out a tweet about it, but he, they were here together on that, on that recruiting trip. And they got another big one tonight or this weekend. They do. Driving into the stadium tonight. It's all red. The juniors, they have dozens of juniors that are going to be here for a junior day over the weekend. But there are also some young men who are here that could still sign in February with Nebraska. So they're they're kind of doing two classes at once here. Uh, so all the coaches have kind of returned back home. We talked to Coach Applewhite a couple of days ago. He was down in Texas. He is back now on campus for this weekend. These are still critical. And you, you're setting your stage for your next. It never stops. You just go right to the next class. And it's, a, you know, it's not just they just come here and it's just, you know, hang out. I mean, it is a schedule. There's a lot, you know, that they plan out for these guys to kind of roll out the red carpet. So yeah, it's a it's a busy weekend. They've got their schedules jam packed and and meeting with all these kids and um, yeah, it's a it's a big weekend for sure. And um, you know, then on top of that, you know, I mentioned yesterday they're trying to still get these uh, transfer guys acclimated that right. you know are just kind of getting a feel for how all this works too. So a lot going on around here this weekend. In fact, uh, the football social media account tweeted out this afternoon the the all the transfer portals that are on campus. It's an impressive list of guys that they put out. So if you haven't checked that out, go go find that. The Husker football Twitter account has a picture of all the guys that are now on campus, part of that transfer portal. All right, here's what we have on the program. There is a new edition 
of Sidelines with Searles. First one in almost two months. Is that right? Since Iowa. Okay. So yep. darn near two months. Uh, it's out. We're going to play you a snippet of that here in just a little bit. Glad that Jeremiah was able to carve out a little time for us. Yeah, uh, he. I asked him if he was hunting. He didn't find that funny. Uh, he said he's been working. You know, I think maybe a lot of what? people forget or don't know maybe that he's an agent. He just got certified uh, this year. And so he's right now is a busy, busy time for him. He is flying all over the country. He's representing um, Austin Allen, actually. And so um, he was saying that... Uh, this weekend, Austin Allen could have a potential to, uh, you know, maybe win an invite to the combine if he can impress and uh, earn an invite to, to go to the combine, which is, is huge. We are, already got JoJo Doman, which we just talked to, and Cam Taylor Britt. So it'd be a big opportunity uh, for Austin Allen. But yeah, so he's been busy. He hasn't been on the deer stand or whatever, whatever season it is. He's actually. So you touched the nerve, is yeah, what you did. He's actually been working and he's been, he's, he squeezed me into a, a tight, his schedule um and so yeah i did get a chance to talk with him but it was a long one and so we talked about a lot of different things and even you know this weekend's nfl games so uh, very good you will never guess who which team he's going for this oh yeah he's he's a bills mafia guy (laughs) all the way he's very sensitive jessica you have to be very sensitive (laughs) jeremiah big fellow but very sensitive so a a snippet of that podcast we're going to play for you here in just a little bit Tim had some comments from the head basketball coach who met with the media earlier today about the COVID situation that the Huskers are dealing with and kind of where this team is mentally. It's a tough stretch right now. They've won one game in about two months stretch. That is hard for any team to try to hang together. He had some thoughts about that. We'll hear that coming up in hour number two. And we're also going to talk about some Husker swimming. Huskers are right in the midst of their season, and you had a chance to catch up with one of their athletes. Yeah, Autumn Habig, uh, she is one of the most decorated athletes in this program's history. History, uh, the only swimmer from Nebraska to ever win a Big Ten title. And, and they've got a big duel coming up tomorrow at Illinois, but then they've got senior day with Rutgers. I learned that Rutgers is our big rival, one of our big rivals in swimming and diving. And so they'll be in uh, Lincoln here in a couple weeks. So you actually will be able to check out swimming and diving here in Lincoln in a couple weeks. So I uh, got to talk to her about a lot of different things. I love watching swimming in the Olympics. And I mean, awesome. it is. Uh, I, I love watching it on TV, and so it was fun to kind of sit down and kind of break it all down. If you, you know, I came from the Big 12. There's not a lot of teams that have swimming and diving, and Oklahoma didn't. So I didn't, I've never really covered it, and so it was fun kind of talking to her and kind of learning a little bit more about it, and maybe there's some listeners that would like to learn a little bit about it too. Great. We'll have that coming up in hour number two for you. We also have our winners and losers for the week also in the second hour of the program. Phone lines always open and available for you, 402 402- 413-2400 works with a call, works with a text. If you want to interact with the show, uh, we'd love to have you jump on board with us here on the show tonight. Our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. We're back to let you listen into part of the podcast, Sidelines with Searles. That's coming up next. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Family first. My dad used to tell us that all the time. But Family First wasn't just something he'd say to us. It was how he lived every day of his life. And it's how I try to live mine too. At Shelter Insurance, our agents are dedicated to helping provide personalized auto, home, and life protection that puts your family first. See Pete Bowles, Brent Ruggo, or Bo Widd in North Platte and ask about Shelter's competitive rates. You already got the hat, the jersey, 
maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. I'm Bruce Chubbuck, and I'm your local Flat Branch Home Loans lender. At Flat Branch Home Loans, we pride ourselves on living, working, and playing in the communities we serve. In my playing days at the University of Nebraska, I was known as a blue-collar worker. I take the same pride in being your mortgage professional as I did in representing Husker Nation. Head to brucechubbuck.com to learn more. Let's get you home. A division of Flat Branch Mortgage, Inc., NMLS 224149, equal housing lender. For licensing info, go to nmlsconsumeraccess.org. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Here is a before-winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple-pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. Is your business's data cabling outdated? Do you need help with fiber optic cabling projects? Give Kidwell a call. Kidwell doesn't just help you handle today's demands, they help you see beyond, making sure that every component works in unison to meet the demands of your growing business. Kidwell keeps your connections clearly labeled and organized, maximizes performance, and saves time when any maintenance or service is needed. Don't settle for patchwork quick fixes. Make Kidwell your technology partner. Visit KidwellInc.com. That's KidwellInc.com. Hey Husker fans, this is Anne-Marie from the Nebraska Beef Council. Just like the big red wins on the court, you can win at the dinner table with great tasting beef. From steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs, there are countless ways to create a meal that will have your family cheering for more. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for easy beef recipes, cooking tips, and meal inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Brought to you by Nebraska's beef producers and their beef checkoff. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. I'm Jessica Cootie, and look who we found. Jeremiah Searles has been MIA, but we have located him. He is joining us now. Jeremiah, where you been, buddy? I've been I've been all over the place. I mean, since Christmas time, I've been traveling like crazy. I was in Texas for four days for the College Gridiron Showcase. I was in Orlando for the Hula Bowl. I was just in Minneapolis for uh, this week, and then I leave on Sunday for L.A. for our guy Austin Allen and the NFL PA Bowl. And then I head to the Shrine Bowl in Vegas on Thursday. So I'm going on an eight-day road trip here, hitting the senior last of the – the senior bowls here as we come up and uh, it's been a lot of fun but it's been a lot of miles too we've been getting asked where you been and so uh greg asked the other day i, I said what hunting season is it is it even a hunting season but i know you've been busy with your uh other gig and we finally have the the coaching staff is um set in place you got brian applewhite who's going to be coaching running backs bill bush uh, was on the staff and has been here before, but officially named the special teams coordinator. Uh, what are your thoughts on those two additions to the staff? 
I think Bill Bush is one of the better hires that we've had. I mean, we've talked about what he can bring as an asset to this team, not just from the special team side, but the recruiting side too. He brings so much to the table um, for this program, for the staff, and really excited to see him get brought on. I think that's going to be a big one. And with the running backs coach, I mean, he had some pretty good running backs that, uh, that he's developed. So really exciting to see him get in this running back room. You got Gabe Irvin coming back, Ramir Johnson. You got some transfers coming in. Like, everything's falling in place. The offseason work that these coaches have put in and Coach Frost and Trev Alberts have built this staff and now bringing guys transfer portal and stuff in has been really good. So we're really excited to kind of see now we're going to start moving into the next phase, which is spring ball. Yeah, how about, um, and even just Mickey Joseph, which we've had you on the show since those hires, but mm -hmm. since then we've really seen, you know, just a different buzz. Decoldis Crawford was in here last weekend on his official visit, and, you know, he picked Nebraska side unseen because of Mickey Joseph. And so, um, but, yeah, I just, I've just, I just feel like there's just such a buzz surrounding uh, Nebraska football right now. What have you seen and heard and felt, I guess, as a former player uh, throughout all of this? Yeah, you know, you look at it, and we were a three-win team last year, and I think everyone who watched college football went, Nebraska is really close to not being a three-win team. And there's those words again, really close, right? I'm sorry, Husker Nation, but we are. But, you know, and I think that recruits and I think that coaches, transfer guys looked at Nebraska last year and like, man, they really are only a few pieces away from really turning this thing and going six-plus, eight-plus type of win season. And we went on that path, right? Coach Frost and everyone went on that path at the very end of the season of, hey, we, we have one year really, like, right? Coach Frost kind of signed a one-year prove-it deal, which guys do all the time, which I loved the competitor in him that did that. And he's put it all out there on the table. Everyone's coming. We're putting the pieces together. And I do. I think there's a buzz. There's an excitement. And we just have to be careful to manage expectations, as always. But I do think the expectation is going to be a winning season next year. And I don't think that's an unrealistic expectation. I think that's a great goal to start with. And if that means six, seven, eight, whatever it might be, it's just it's going to be better than three or four, in my opinion, next year because of the pieces that are falling into place in the offseason. All right, let's uh, hit on some of the portal guys that we yes. can uh, officially talk about. And, I mean, obviously we got to start at quarterback, right? And uh, Casey Thompson, Chubba Purdy. But two quarterbacks in the portal. In the portal, how uh, how big is that to get two guys? Yeah, I mean Casey Thompson, man, he was one. He was one of my go-to when I saw he went into the portal. I was like, man, that's got to be the guy. Nebraska just puts the bullseye on, says that's our dude. Watching the way he played in the Big 12, seeing the way he can throw the ball, the way his mobility is too. I think that's a big part of Scott Frost's offense is having those mobile quarterbacks. The creating quarterbacks can do things with their legs. Super excited about him. But then you bring in Purdy, too, who's got a lot of football under his belt. I mean, guy's going to be a phenomenal player. And, I mean, don't write him off. You think he's coming here to be the backup? That dude wants to start, too. There's going to be some great competition in that room. And then you throw in Logan Smothers. You got Carlos Torres coming in. You got Harbaugh in there still. Like, Whipple's got to be going, man, woo, let's go, right? Like, he's got a full room of quarterbacks that he gets to just continue to work with and get going. And that's what you want. You want deep rooms. You want competition in each and every single room. So that just makes guys better. And especially at the quarterback position where there really hasn't been a quarterback competition since, shoot, I played. I mean, it went like Taylor Martinez, four-year starter. Tommy Armstrong, four-year starter. Tanner Lee, one-year starter. Adrian Martinez, four-year starter, right? There hasn't been this competition where guys are coming in and being pushed and it's really gonna make every rep every rep matter in the spring every rep matter in fall camp so that we can really see who's the best guy for the job and I'm really excited to follow that battle how about the uh lineman the offensive lineman Hunter Anthony um, from Oklahoma State he actually played in the bowl game and was in the por in the portal which I think says a lot about him but have you seen much of him but how big can that be as well, just providing some, some experience in, into that O-line room? Oh, you mean splits, boys? I mean, the old, the old split boy there? Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of that picture, but I hope he can block guys. Um, I think, I think uh, again, you get a guy that brings an experience to an offensive line room that's really lacking experience. They graduated their most experienced player in Cam Jurgens, who's chasing it to the NFL. And you, you're looking for experience in that room. you got a new coach with Rayola in there, too, who's running his room for the first time. You, anytime you can bring in guys that have played a lot of football and have meaningful reps and meaningful games under their belts, it's really going to help. I'm curious where they try and put him. I think he's a guy that can play a bunch of different positions from what I've like kind of watched briefly of him. But I'm excited to kind of see where he sticks out in the spring because we're going to need some guys, right? I mean, I think Turner Corcoran's a guy that I would like to see maybe play a little center. 
I think that's a guy with Teddy Prohaska coming back to be the left tackle. I'd like to see maybe Turner bumps inside. He's super athletic. He needs to get a little stronger, but I think that he's a candidate for that. Maybe Nuri bumps inside. And then the number one guy I'm really excited for in the O-line room uh, is Henry, Henry Latoski, man. I, I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about that kid, and I'm really excited to see him get his opportunity to ch chase that starting job. So uh, we have gotten a lot of questions, um, you know, since Cam Jurgens has announced that he was going to the NFL Who's going to play center? And, you know, probably, again, it'll be a, a competition, and we'll see. But uh, what, what's that process look like for a guy, like you mentioned, maybe if it's Turner or whoever it might be, that's played on the line and has been playing on the line, but maybe making that switch to playing center? Yeah, it's a huge switch, and especially with a new quarterback. The quicker they can find a starting center, the faster that center and whoever the starting quarterback is can start building that relationship. The center quarterback relationship is sacred. I mean, you guys have to be one brain working together on so many different fronts. And that's why I think Cam and Adrian were basically so close that when Adrian left, I think Cam was like, I don't want to do this again with another quarterback for one year. So, I mean, if you're looking to move a guy to center, you're looking for, hey, who can athletically fit what we need them to do in our screen game and our outside zone scheme and who can be a leader of those five guys up front. Trent Hickson's a guy that comes to mind. He's played some football. Nuri's a guy I'm sure could snap the football as well. Turner Corcoran, but a lot of that is just who can consistently get the job done week in and week out as far as what it takes to play the center position. And when you got guys that are transferring from guard to center, it's not as drastic, but center to tackle, center to, or tackle to center can be a little bit harder of a change. But I do think that with Turner being a younger player still, I mean, only really one year of starting under his belt, he still has a lot of development in his game that it wouldn't be a drastic shift to jump him inside this early. I do think there are some exciting names, obviously, that, that are coming in. But, you know, and Greg and I have talked about this. The big thing is they hit big needs, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you got a punter, the FCS punter of the year. You got... Hallelujah. <laughs> I mean, you, you just got some, some needs, some, um, some older defensive backs. And you got some wide receivers. Some, uh, it's just kind of some of the needs, some of the big needs. And... Um, filling some of those rooms that might have been a little bit younger with some older guys. I, I think they um, hit the needs that they really needed out of the portal. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and the number one need, in my opinion, was the DB's room, right? I mean, you, you lost a ton out of that room. And even with, you could call JoJo Doman kind of that nickel hybrid where he played some DB too, and he's gone. So I agree. I think they identified it, they identified needs, and they addressed those needs through both recruiting, right? I mean, we had a, I remember we did our signing day, a lot of DBs in that class, but also through the portal, which is really important when you're trying to get things instead of a, a rebuild, kind of a we need to win now. I mean, look. Look what Michigan State did, right? I mean, Mel Tucker went out there and just absolutely hammered the transfer portal, and now he's making $90 million, right? So it works if you can make it work. And so I think that's kind of the, the blueprint that we're going to try and follow is address needs in the portal and hope we hit on the guys that we brought in and develop them the right way and then try and put a really quality product out there on the field in the fall. All right, let's talk about uh, current NFL. I mean, I, I know you're excited about your Chiefs. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Go Bills always. Somewhere Ben McLaughlin and I are having a fight because he's a diehard Chiefs fan. But Bills all the way, baby. I was told to ask you about your table dive. Is that video somewhere accessible? Yeah, on my phone. Yeah, I may or may not at the AFC Championship game last year went through a table in Bills gear because that's what you do when you run into Bills Mafia at these tailgates. So if I wasn't going to be in L.A., there's a very high chance that I would be down in Kansas City for this, for this Bills game. I think it's going to be an absolutely unbelievable football game. You played for multiple teams. Why are you all in on the Bills? Because I love those guys. I mean, that was my last stop, obviously, and I got to be part of something that was pretty special was the ground floor of that rebuild. My rookie year in 2018 was Josh, or my, excuse me, my last year in 2018 um, playing before I got injured was Josh Allen's rookie year. And so I got to see the growth of what he potentially could be. And Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott run that organization to perfection from how they do the X's and O's to how they handle players and their families. And they just do everything the right way up there. And I have a lot of respect for that organization, a lot of friends that are still playing on that team because it was my last team. 
And so I just want to have those guys to have a lot of success. And Bills Mafia and Husker Nation are cut from the same cloth. I mean, they're just fanatics about their team and love their team through good and bad. And for Bills Mafia to get a chance to go to a divisional round again, a conference championship, and maybe even the Super Bowl would make me so happy for that fan base. But we have to talk about the Cincinnati Bengals and, and Zach Taylor yes. and the job that he's done. I mean, what a story there. They were so bad not that long ago. Oh, they've hit on a lot of their draft picks, and that's what helps. I mean, Joe Burrow's an absolute stud. Jamar Chase, stud. T. Higgins, right? Jonah Williams, their left tackle, no one talks about, stud. And then they go get guys that can rush the passer. Zach Taylor built a great football team up there in Cincinnati, and it all kind of clicked for them there at the end. They got really hot at the end. Everyone was playing good football, complimentary football, and it showed against the Raiders. And so, yeah, they put together. I'd like to see a magical year for them continue until they run into the Bills. And then I love you, Zach Taylor, but the Bills got to go. I think I'm going to jump on the uh, the Cincinnati uh, bandwagon for the rest of the way. Of course you will. What? You're not <laughs> against me. If you're not for me, you're against them. I'm definitely not going with you and the Bills. Why? You're probably you, you and Ben are gonna jump on the Chiefs. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go Bengals, and then they're gonna lose, and then you're gonna go. Oh well, the Chiefs. The Chiefs are the Chiefs are good. By the way, I mean you didn't even congratulate me on my winning season of picks. Well, you know it was really fun, guys. I'll uh, I'll join you guys next week. Thanks for having <laughs> me on the show. No, congratulations, Jessica. Oh, anyway. Till next year. Till next year. Well, best of luck uh, with all your endeavors with the the guys that you're representing. Um, I know you're excited about them, and then. Um, yeah, safe travels, and we'll see you in here soon, hopefully. Absolutely appreciate it, guys. Go Big Red. Uh, we got to take a quick break here on Sports Nightly. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Keep it right here. We've got more Sports Nightly coming up next. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information from manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's Devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he's so cold. The furnace is out again. But wait, he sees an opening. SOS, SOS, he screams and calls 391-2336. SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer. Boy, he made the right call today as SOS is already on the way. SOS is your trustworthy company since 1950, and with Luxair, you get free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call 391-2336 or visit soshvac.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? 
With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. I'm Bruce Chubbuck, and I'm your local Flat Branch Home Loans lender. At Flat Branch Home Loans, we pride ourselves on living, working, and playing in the communities we serve. In my playing days at the University of Nebraska, I was known as a blue-collar worker. I take the same pride in being your mortgage professional as I did in representing Husker Nation. Head to brucechubbuck.com to learn more. Let's get you home. A division of Flat Branch Mortgage, Inc., NMLS 224149, Equal Housing Lender. For licensing info, go to nmlsconsumeraccess.org. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at beardmoresubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, Teammates has served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a Teammates mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org. And thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. Our Sports Alley Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse, first 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying. To save you time, shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Oh, that was good to hear Jeremiah Searles. He got really excited when you mentioned punter to him. <laughs> right? Kind of jumped right through the microphone. I know. It kind of scared me a little bit. He's, he screamed <laughs> at me. Uh, yeah, no. I, you know, as as you heard him talking about just the, the competition that, you know, some of these guys – are going to be able to bring into these rooms and and some of the rooms that are were young and just having some older um guys that maybe maybe they've played a year but at least it, you know they've played some actual had some meaningful snaps and and at this level which is just so much different so um yeah i think you know and even him talking about just the buzz and and just feeling it i you know i think uh, he's excited but he said that he's told you several times that until you are on the too deep he's not going to dive too much into it so he'll know a lot more about these guys and be able to break them down once we get to the spring you have not seen hunter anthony splits huh no, I didn't know uh, what he's talking about. You got to go search that. I know. Pretty impressive for a big fellow like that to be able to do the splits. I just, I thought that was awesome that he played in the bowl game. He did with for Oklahoma mm-hmm. State when he was in the portal and and you know was going to be leaving. A lot of guys don't do that. We saw and it across how many players didn't play for their teams that they had played with all season. Credit Oklahoma State for allowing him to do that too. True, because they yeah. could have said. Get out of here. True. Yeah, well, I mean, but I, I think it was good on both parties' part that he wanted to play and that they, they kind of allowed him to play. Yep. Tim in Minnesota said, Jeremiah, I was talking about Adrian being a four-year starter. I, he said, uh, wasn't Jeremiah or wasn't Adrian pushed at several times? Absolutely. In fact, remember, Adrian's freshman year, he was in a battle with Tristan Jebbia. Scott Frost tabbed Adrian the starter a week before the game. Tristan then transferred before the game even kicked off so absolutely he had to win that battle there and then Luke McCaffrey and Adrian traded spots a little bit in that goofy 2020 COVID year but Jeremiah's point is that he was a starter here for four years but absolutely Tim you're right there was real competition for Adrian to get the job initially Uh, this is going to be fun quarterback controversies fans love it media loves it gives a lot of people to we love it because it gives us a lot to talk about, it. and we'll probably be breaking down every practice when they get out on the, the practice field here. There's a, a lot months. of those battles that are going to be intriguing to watch that maybe weren't the case a year ago. Wasn't the case a year ago. I mean, you think about maybe the corner opposite of Cam Taylor Britt, but Cam Taylor Britt had his spot pretty much locked, locked in. in. A lot of those guys on the defensive line, I mean, uh, the tight ends, you knew who they were going to be, but there's who's going to play with vocal like I mean, there's right. a lot of guys in that room that the competition is going to be big. Running and back. Then, then, and running back and wide receiver. I mean, Absolutely. you do have some guys that played, you know, with Omar uh, Manning and, and Xavier Betts, but, I mean, with all these other guys coming in, I mean, there's going to be a lot of competition battles, and that's, that's what makes a football team better. And, Jessica, they're all going to be trying to impress – some new coaches yeah Brian Applewhite's going to be studying all these guys Mickey Joseph's going to be going okay who does this who do? and some coaches have different likes about what what you know grabs their attention 
So all these guys are kind of auditioning again. And what's crazy, you think about a year ago, it was the middle linebacker spot was the big question. Didn't know. Now that's not going to be the question this year. You know, I mean, they've, they're pretty deep there and have got some look at Luke Reimer and Nick Henrich and what they were able to do. And um, now they're going to be the leaders. But we didn't know what that position was going to look like a year ago this time. They were terrific, weren't they? Both they were those so guys good. Really and that, and JoJo well. just, you know, when he was on last week, really talked about how great they were and that they're going to be the guys now. And so, um, you know, and I think both those, um, you know, when after games and stuff, when they would lose and um, those are probably the two most devastated guys that you saw week in and week out. I mean, they were not – Happy. None of them were happy, obviously, but you can just tell the guys that take it the hardest, and and they really take it, took it hard. And you know, linebacker, middle linebacker, especially, is kind of you know, it's the quarterback of the defense, it's kind of a leadership role. Um, but they were young, and so they were learning. And I think they they really took a lot away from last year, learning from those older guys. And now it's going to be fun to see them kind of step into that role and, and kind of be more of the leaders for this defense. I would throw Garrett Nelson in. Yeah, that absolutely, group Garrett Nelson too. too that- yeah was a guy that, boy, he wore it on his sleeve. Oh, yeah. You could tell when he walked out of the locker room whether it was a good day or not. Yeah, those three. I mean, you Those could, three guys. Yeah, those three, you knew. I mean, they were, uh, they were really, really disappointed for sure. You could tell. Yep. All right, uh, 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text. We have time to tell you that Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility line's marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. More sports highlight straight ahead. Ginch ice, cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celsius here. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. Hey, Bud Light. How many? Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly and highs with Bush, Bud Light Beer, and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset, day by day. Donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. When it comes to style and safety, the 2021 Mazda CX-5 has it all. From effortless performance and control to sophisticated technology features like iActiveSense, a suite of safety features that come standard. Plus, when you shop with Woodhouse Mazda, our friendly sales staff will help you shop, finance, and buy your way. Whether it's in-store or online, view our inventory at one of our two convenient Woodhouse Mazda locations or at woodhousemazda.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. 
Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, back with you here on a Friday night, Friday night edition of Sports Nightly, 402-413-2400, the number to dot up with a uh, comment or question. You and Jeremiah were talking about the NFL playoffs, which get going tomorrow, two games tomorrow, two games on Sunday. A young high school student in the state of Florida has started a petition. Frank Regeri, he's 18 years old, Palm, B- Palm Bay, Florida, has started an online petition. Jessica, and I want your thoughts on this. He is petitioning that the Super Bowl be moved to Saturdays, not Sundays. He said that he thinks more, a lot of people miss work the next day because they stay up so late after the Super Bowl party that it's costing the economy, as he, he puts, $44 billion less of productivity on Monday. So he'd like to move the Super Bowl to Saturday. He's got 80,000 people have already signed his petition. And I'm about to sign it right now. I'm all for You're that. You're good for this? Yes. I, I don't I don't like, you know, on Sunday you, you get all excited to watch the game and you have to turn around and wire, right around and work and the, the next day. And the game doesn't day. get over to like 9 o'clock yeah. at night. No, let's have it on a Saturday and then you have Sunday to recover. Absolutely. I'm, I'm actually looking up and I'm going to sign it right now. All right. Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, says TV audiences are bigger on Sunday because people aren't out and about as much and that's why the game has traditionally been on Sunday afternoons. But this young man, enterprising young fella, has put out a petition. So if you want to go find it, his name again is Frank Regeri from Palm Bay, Florida. And this story, I'm, I'm reading this off of CBSSports.com, was posted six hours ago. And at that time, he had 80,000. I bet he's over 100,000 I just, I just signed, and it's it is a, it's up to 85,000. And Good I just signed him. it. So I'm I on think that a list. lot of people would be for <laughs> that. I've heard some people say that they think that we ought to – Make the next Monday a national holiday. Just make it a if holiday. That, give the, the Monday off. Yeah, if we do that, then I'm fine with it being on Sunday. But let's let's uh, yeah, let's have a day off after the Super Bowl. Well, you've got kind of a President's Day close to that. Why don't you just marry them up? Put yeah. it on President's Day weekend, and we're why most is people President's get... Day on President's Day? Like, is there something specific to that day? It's isn't it close to Washington or Lincoln's birthdays? Aren't they kind of right in that? I think that's the the so, crux yeah, of that. So yeah, let's just. If there's no set reason why President's Day is on that date, then let's move it. I'm all for another <laughs> national holiday. If it revolves around football and the Super Bowl, that would be great to be. So I thought that was a pretty cool story that that young man uh, put up there. Uh, we've got Husker Wrestling at the top of the hour. They're over in uh, Madison. Good luck to Mark Manning. We had him on the program last night. They'll be battling the eighth-ranked Badgers tonight. BTN's got a wrestling doubleheader. They're wrapping up uh, with a Penn State-Michigan duel, and they'll have Iowa-Ohio State, so some really good Big Ten wrestling tonight on BTN. The Huskers matches on BTN+. Plus. So if you have BTN+, Plus, you can go watch the Huskers top of the hour as they take on Wisconsin. Not everything was canceled this week. Not everything Tim has canceled all week long on our sports Tim ticker. Tim no longer is no longer allowed to do He's the canceled ticker. Tim. Tim the canceler. Uh, because Jim was supposed to be tonight. When was Jim was supposed to be yeah. here in a few minutes with Illinois, but Illinois had issues, so they had their their duel canceled tonight. Eighty five thousand eight hundred and forty five. On that petition? Forty six. It's going up like fast. Just be, well, we just mentioned it, so it's gonna yeah, take the, a big jump now. Yeah. So For sure. All these Sports Nightly people. They're all in. getting on the Husker. You get Husker fans <laughs> riled on the internet, and they'll get uh, get fired up on that thing. Hey, buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. One hour in the books. When we come back, some we'll hear from head basketball coach Fred Hoiberg. He met with the media today to talk about the COVID situation with his Huskers, where this team is. It's got to be tough right now mentally, the, the, the losing streak that they've been on. Are you still winless in league play? We'll hear from him. We'll talk some Husker swimming. All that and more coming up in our final hour of the night next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. United Healthcare believes small businesses are vital to our economy and an important part of our communities. Join United Healthcare in celebrating small businesses. I'm Rob Broomfield, United Healthcare of Nebraska CEO and a graduate of the University of Nebraska. We want to recognize your small business with the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio interviews, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit huskers.com front slash spotlight. United Healthcare, proud partner of Husker Sports. 
Experience the difference at Woodhouse Buick GMC. Discover the all-new 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. Its powerful engines, bold presence, and innovative features give you superior capability. Or take your next adventure to new heights in the 2022 GMC Canyon. It's engineered and equipped to handle whatever action lies ahead. Shop our indoor showroom or purchase online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. You live in a smart home powered by Cox Internet, so you're not thinking about the pizza delivery. You're thinking how nice it is to get everyone together for a fun night. You're not thinking about the pizza. Maybe just a little. Cox Home Life. Show me the front porch camera. Pizza! View your Cox Home Life cameras right from your TV using your Contour voice remote. Visit cox.com slash thisishome to learn more. Advertised features require subscription to Cox Internet and Contour TV. A high-speed internet connection is required. Home Life Security Services subject to Home Life Security Service Agreement. Cox Home Life Services provided by Cox Licensed Entities. See cox.com slash licenses.
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Earlier today, Fred Hoiberg met with the media on behalf of men's hoops to discuss adjustments he's made to the team's game plan that have yielded improving results. You know, you look at our numbers since we changed our system, uh, you know, which is pretty rare to change your system in the middle of the season. I just felt it was a move that we had to make. Um, you know, from going as a 25% shooting team, I think the last seven were over 39. And, you know, getting to the point where, you know, our shot selection is much better, it's led to that. Now we got to, you know, find a way to get the necessary stops and get the proper execution down the stretch. You know, in the Indiana game the other night, we had two wide open threes with under two minutes to play. Unfortunately, they didn't go down. You know, you got to make those plays. And, uh, you know, when those shots present themselves, got to find a way to knock those down if we're going to get over the hump. The Nebraska women's basketball game at Illinois originally scheduled for Sunday, January 23rd at 2 p.m. Central in Champaign has been postponed. I do apologize for all the postponement announcements. I, I know I've been canceled a lot, but have to deliver them. That game uh, is attempted to be rescheduled through the Big Ten Conference right now through the forfeiture guidelines for this season. This game will be postponed, and the conference office will coordinate the rescheduling process. If the game is not able to be rescheduled, it would not count, or it would count as a no contest for both teams. But in better news, Nebraska women's basketball also announced that the Rutgers game that was postponed this past Thursday will be rescheduled for Tuesday, February 1st at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Tip-off is at 7 p.m., and ticket holders for Nebraska's originally scheduled game with Rutgers, that was back on January 20th, will be able to use those tickets for admittance to the February 1st contest at PBA. Huskers wrestling is just underway with the 149s up in Madison, Wisconsin. That one is on Big Ten+. Plus. Elsewhere in college basketball tonight, the Big Ten men's slate has two games in action tonight. Number 17, Illinois. It is at half an unranked Maryland with a 1-6 record in the Big Ten coming into tonight. They lead Illinois 37-35 to at half. It is important to note no Kofi Coburn in that one for the Fighting Illini. At 8 p.m., number 14, Michigan State will take on number 8, Wisconsin. No Big Ten games on the women's side of college hoops tonight, but there are some good tw- top 25 matchups. Ninth-ranked UConn currently leads Seton Hall 37-21. to Number 22, Colorado, is up on Arizona State. That one's at half. It's 23-22. Buffalo's in that one. 9-4 and four, Utah tips off against number 10, Arizona, at 8 p.m. And Cal is at number 2, Stanford, for the nightcap at 9. In pro sport, the NFL has made several headlines, including one in the first hour of our program tonight. They have announced through a memo that was leaked that they will not test unvaccinated players for the remainder of this postseason. The New York Giants announced the hiring of new general manager Joe Schoen today. He was previously the Bills' assistant general manager. And the Ravens fired defensive coordinator Wink Martindale. That's the ticker. My name's Tim Mulhelpt, and you're listening to Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Looks for high beat, foul line extended right side. Dribble penetration, Sammy drives and scores! Jim Hybe! Great finish by Nebraska, they're back within a possession. Here's McGowan's driving the ball to the rim and jams it right in the face of Payne. Posterized him. Put him on the poster. Burge puts his head down, drives it, floater off the rim, in and out, offensive rebound, put back, up and good by Walker, up and good by Big D. Moriarty going to take the baseline, and now she's going to drive underneath, reverse layup, good for Kendall Moriarty, are you kidding me? Now that is a big time, one-handed reverse layup by Moriarty. 12.45 to go, here's Trey McGowan's with a three, got it! Trey McGowan's, his first three-point attempt of the year. After sitting all these games with a broken foot, his first shot is gold. 82-73, then Iowa lead out top, Markowski for three. You betcha, Markowski has hit six threes. Unbelievable. And she's got 27 points. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, last hour we talked about a young man putting together a petition to move the Super Bowl to Saturday. Andrew's a big no on that. No, no, no. Because he's off on Monday. His day off for the week is Monday. So, of course, he's fine with it being on Sunday. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm proud of that young man for doing that. That's an enterprising thing to do. And I've always thought that why, why put it on Sunday night when everybody's got to work on Monday morning. So cool stuff. Hey, Fred Hoiberg met with the media today. We're going to hear some comments from that. We're also going to talk some Husker swimming a little bit later on. Just got a chance to catch up with one of the Husker swimmers as they're right in the heart of their season. They'll have their NCAAs here in about a month and a half. So we'll talk some Husker swimming. And, oh, as always, phone lines open and available for you at 402 413 24 Hundred. All right, COVID has hit both the men's and women's basketball programs, and I've had some people say, well, what, "What? How did they avoid it up till now?" Well, I think what really happened, Jessica, was we've started school again, and so to re-enter UNL, the students, the faculty, the staff, so all of us had to go get tested here in the last seven days, and I think that's what kind of shot all this up yeah i mean you have the required testing which wasn't happening like it was last year where they were you know testing what before Daily, every game basically crazy uh but so that's no longer um what's happening but because you had to have a test to, to come back to school but then also there wasn't a lot of people on campus and now that there are and you know it's spreading then that probably has a lot to do with it too that now that it's uh, busier times, you're more susceptible to, to p- coming in contact with it. So the men's game tomorrow with Ohio State has been postponed. They'll try to get it rescheduled at a later date. The head coach did meet with the media today just to kind of give everybody an update on where they are. And here was what he had to say about the COVID situation with the Huskers. Okay, so uh, let me just start with an update on kind of the state of our team right now. Um, you know, the the rules on return to campus for all students and faculty uh, were to test. And uh, unfortunately, we had a number of positive cases that put us below uh, the number of scholarship players that are available. Uh, Not only positive COVID tests, but obviously we have two players uh, that have injuries that will keep them out indefinitely right now. So uh, that puts us below the number. So in talking to the Big Ten, we canceled obviously the game um, on Saturday, and we're still unsure about how that will affect uh, the next game moving forward. We'll just go day by day right now, keep in communication with the Big Ten, and give you updates when we have them. The next scheduled game for the men is Tuesday night at home with Wisconsin. I would think that's probably in jeopardy. These situations usually wipe out more than just one game. But where is the coach? Is he optimistic that this is going to be a much shorter delay than they had last year? Because they went through a 28-day layoff a year ago. Here's what he said about that. Yeah, it's not as direct because we, we, you know, last year I think we were shut down for almost an entire month. And, you know, this year, you know, hopefully with the new guidelines, uh, we'll be able to get back. Now there's steps that you have to take to get past it as far as having a negative test where then you can – start the return to play protocol and there's lab work and there's a heart test that you have to pass so you know we're still a ways from getting past this uh, but it's nowhere near where last year I mean I think we had after the shutdown four days of practice and then we played 14 days and 29 days so it was a crazy uh, ending I was proud of how our guys fought through it last year I thought we played some of our best basketball at the end of the season through very challenging times Um, you know this is one thing you know you look at how this has affected our sport, well, obviously how it's affected our world uh, with everything going on. So, you know, it's something that's here. It is what it is. I'm thankful that none of our guys have um, uh, serious symptoms. They're very mild <clears throat> with our guys. So hopefully we'll move past it quickly. That sounds encouraging. So he, he's not at all thinking it's going to be a multi-week type layout for the Oscars. I think that's good news for all of us. What are they allowed to do now? I mean, when you can't have players out there, can they even practice? Here's what the coach had to say. Well, the guys that are here, because we are a fully vaccinated team, uh, can still come in and get work. And uh, when, we, when our guys came in, I think we had six guys on the floor yesterday. And guys, uh, today is really an off day uh, for our team. So uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow with a small group. It'll really just be skill work, individual work, um, and then hopefully be able to get guys back. But, you know, from a positional standpoint right now, you know, we're, we're very thin, obviously. So we'll just do as much as we can, continue to get guys uh, you know, as much work as we can, and just try to keep them in the best shape possible. 
It's got to be so frustrating for both him and Coach Williams that you just can't do what you want to do right now. Yeah, and especially you just get Trey back, and then now you can't even get that kind of going again, you know, working him into the lineup and getting a feel with playing with him. And, um, yeah, so I, I just – this team needs a win so bad too. Mm. You know, so then you're – you're now pushing back that time. I just, I think a win could do a lot for this team. And so now you don't even get a chance to get out there and do that. But uh, hopefully they, again, move move through it quickly and it won't be a big layoff and they'll get to get back out to the court quickly. It's good to hear him say that a lot, the guys aren't don't have bad symptoms. So that's good. That means maybe it's a minor case. And, you know, he said they're fully vaccinated. So they've done all they really can do to try to avoid all this. Yeah. And, you know, I, I mentioned earlier, or last night, I think, you know, a lot of times it's, Guys coming in, working on their own, and if even if they do have code, if they feel you know okay, then they can come in and shoot. So it's not like they're just sitting at home not doing anything at this point. They're not eating Oreo cookies sitting around <laughs> on the couch. Well, they might be eating Oreo cookies, but they're also working out a little bit too. You mentioned uh, Trey getting back and, and playing against Indiana. We had a highlight in the open, his three that he made, his first three of the season. Didn't make one before he went down to the Creighton game in, in the first couple of games of the season. Here's the coach talking about the impact of getting a, a veteran player back out on the floor. Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest thing, Jacob, was – uh, obviously defensively our ball pressure um, you know pick pickup point was much higher and I think it affected the whole team you know Alonzo uh, did a much better job deflecting balls uh, you know he had a really good double team to create a turnover he had a great steal late in the game um, you know but Trey just being out there and again he played 20 minutes and he'd practiced two days so he's a ways away from being where he wants to be and from where we need him but you see the immediate impact that he has uh, out there on the floor for us and you know, you know what he can provide for this team and as big as anything is leadership he's he's phenomenal in that area he did a good job as good as you can possibly do for a guy that was on a scooter uh not uniform that he can go out there and do the things that he did for our team so you know just getting him back out there is a huge lift and you know you saw it with lat went out there and just gave him a big hug uh, when he got on the floor for the first time so he's uh in, in stepping up, making that first three. Hell, I'd have shot that thing through the backboard if it was my first shot after missing that amount of time. So, you know, just having them back out there is a huge lift uh, for our guys. That's so funny. <laughs> you, it is when they got off the backboard. Which, when Trey was kind of getting closer, you know, to maybe being released, I, I talked to him and he told, said how much he'd learned from having to sit back and watch. And because you're, when you're on the court, you hear, you know, the coaches saying things and telling you what to do, but you don't act always see it in the moment but when you take a step back you can kind of see it from a different you know vantage point and you know just the role he he has totally embraced the role of being that guy that's you know the the defensive catalyst he wants he came in with the goal of wanting to be the big 10 defensive player of the year and you know not necessarily always having to score 20 points and, and that role is just so important and how much do we hear coach Hoiberg talking about guys kind of embracing their roles and being okay with their roles and Trey was one of those guys and, and that was a big role to lose because he was a guy that just locked down on the defensive end and could guard anybody's best player so getting him back is I think is just going to be a huge lift for this team how quickly do you do you think he gets put in the starting lineup? I bet it's quick. I do too. I think they need him. Yeah, and I, I also think, you know, having a guy like Casey coming off the bench, you know, is, mm -hmm. you know, it can be a big, big spark, a guy that can come in and not, and you got Casey and CJ that can come right. in and, and, you know, give you two good, really, or really good shooters that can knock down three. So um, you got to think it's going to be pretty quickly. But I don't know if if he's got COVID. If you know if he does, if, if he's, he's one, of the, one of the five. If yeah. he's got one of the maybe I don't know how much if that's not affecting him or could, could set him back on his uh, condition. Yeah, right. Again, so all right. Uh, and also, I disagree with the coach. As good a shooter as he was, he would not <laughs> have fired one. Come say, on, he's one of the best shooters of all time. Yeah, that's not. He would not ever. Yeah. Shank it off the backboard. Well, a, a lot has been made about a, a, an appearance by Kobe Webster on a, on a radio station here in Lincoln and kind of some disparaging comments he made about this team and that it's kind of alluded that it's there's some fracturing going on within the team, and that's going to happen. I mean, losing is a bit of a cancer. It gets in there, and it just can really – it's hard to hold a team together when they're not winning. Kobe did address that with the media earlier today and uh, said he and Coach have had long talks since his appearance on this show where he did uh, make some disparaging comments. Didn't call out anybody by name, but alluded to some, some problems within the team. The coach talked about 
leadership and accountability. What, where's that stand with this team right now? Here was his response. Again, Jimmy, the, the biggest thing that, uh, that I took from that is, you know, you got to uh, come together, talk about it, address it, and move on from it and learn from it. Um, you know, I've been doing this thing a long time. I feel I've had some pretty good success, uh, you know, in the places I've been. And, you know, obviously it hasn't happened here yet, here yet but I plan on it happening here. Um, I'm 100% confident. We've been through more adversity in three years than, than you go through in a lifetime and what we've dealt with uh, since we got here in this job. So I'm, I'm confident in my ability to coach. I'm confident in my ability to lead. And we're going to get this thing We're going to get this thing right. Not uh, totally unexpected. You're going to have that thing when you're not winning games. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I mean, it is a tough stretch right now. There's going to be some frustrations. And, um, you know, Kobe's such a a great guy and you know he's uh done so much and given so much and kind of he's been one of those guys that kind of has accepted his role of maybe coming off the bench not playing as much so um I'll bet he kind of felt bad that it blew up as much as it did sure. um I, I think guess he talked to the media today I didn't hear he did. all that he had said but I'll bet he kind of felt bad that it kind of brought negative attention to this team because that's not what he's that's not him he's not he nope. wouldn't want that on this team and, and taking it back to the fall, I was shocked we didn't have more of that with the football team. As tough yeah. as those losses were, that team, and that's a credit to Scott and that staff, that they held that group together and the leaders on that team. I, I don't want to dismiss the, the captains, the Austin Allens, the Cam Taylor Bridge. Those guys held that team together. You never really heard any of that problem, even though they had – unbelievably tough stretches with that season yeah I mean that team was really special and it's it's sad that they didn't come out and and have more wins to show for it but that is just so rare when you have and it's not like um I mean that those are just tough blows after tough blows I mean you're Mm. looking at every single game was almost uh, uh, the losses were heartbreakers and that can really a lot of times break a team one or two of those can can really hurt a team but they stayed together and um, you know, with, with this basketball team, I, you know, I just said about one win could, you know, you never know what that could do for a team. So if they could just figure out a way to get over the hump. And even, you know, the other night they had so many chances they and they couldn't go kind of get it done. So if they can just get over that hump and get that win, I think it would be just monumental for this team. Sometime you just need a little spark to get the thing going. All right, those are comments from the coach. Again, they're scheduled to play next Tuesday. I'm not holding my breath. I just think we've seen enough of this in the last two years. Usually when you miss one, you're going to miss multiple games. But we'll see. Uh, he was a little bit optimistic there, so hopefully uh, maybe they're going to turn a corner here over the weekend. All right, when we come back, Autumn Habig, who's a – Terrific swimmer for the Cornhuskers. She uh, had a chance to catch up. Jessica had a chance to catch up with her. We'll hear that conversation next. Ford has something for everyone. Discover the all-new 2022 F-150 Ranger or Maverick. From the affordable 2022 Ford Maverick to the capable 2022 Ford F-150, all built to help you make the most of your work week or weekend. Our knowledgeable sales team is eager to help you find a vehicle with the features you want. Plus, shop, finance, and buy your way online at woodhouseford.com or one of our three convenient Ford dealerships. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it, the confidence of flashing a beautiful smile, the relief that your family can keep living the life they love, the serenity of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. This isn't the start. Before I got here, I started training. And before that, I did something to my back. But my first move was Athletico Physical Therapy. That's where I'd eventually end up. So why not start there? I mean, my therapist immediately found the source of my pain. These are the same physical therapists who work with elite marathon runners. So soon, I was back to running, but without pain. <sighs> you got this. It all starts at Athletico. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean, which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles? Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco, proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com change. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Cornerstone Bank proudly serves Nebraska with a full line of loan and deposit products. Cornerstone is large enough to handle all of your financial needs while offering the personal service you deserve and the local decision-making you expect from a family-owned community bank. Stop in or call one of the Cornerstone Bank locations near you to discover the Cornerstone difference. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, loan subject to approval. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field welcome back to sports nightly i'm jessica cootie and excited to be joined by senior team captain from nebraska swimming and diving autumn haybig a two-time all-american one of the most decorated swimmers in program history you guys are in the middle of your season how's it going it's going pretty well uh we've got a few left till we hit big tens and ncaa's but we're training through right now pushing through Tell us a little bit about this team and um, what what team, if fans are maybe thinking about maybe coming to a meet or coming to check you guys out, what they need to know. I think we've got a really strong team this year. Uh, compared to teams in the past, we, we've had NCAA caliber swimmers, but I think this year we really have a few more on the table and we'll definitely put on a show. So tell us about your events. What events you do? What's your specialty? I mainly swim the 200 free, 500 free, 100 free, and then I mix in backstroke as well, as well as relays. So how did you get into swimming and swimming competitively and where you thought, okay, maybe I could go to college uh, with this swimming? So I started when I was 10. Uh, I followed in the footsteps of my sister. So my sister, she's a few years older than me, and she started when she was 12, and I had to tag along to every swim meet, and I was up in the stands just, like, watching movies on a portable DVD player, and then it was like, maybe I should try it. And so I got in the water, like, competitively for the first time when I was 10, and then I quit because I hated it. <laughs> so then I rejoined when I was 11 and just stuck with it, and it wasn't until think middle school where I was like hey maybe I could continue on with this into college. So what did you like about it? I mean how did you kind of find your own love for it? 
Uh, so many friends come from swimming. So many. Um, I just, I love to race. I love to compete. There's always that goal of winning and always like just being better than you, what you were before. So just like getting to hang out with your friends all the time, getting to travel for swimming, and then just competing. So from Wisconsin, um, how did your recruiting process go to where you found a home at Nebraska, how you ended up here? So I had multiple home visits from different coaches and then multiple different trips. I took all five of my trips. So I went to here, Nebraska was my first ever trip. And then I went Arkansas, Alabama, Wisconsin, and Kansas. And uh, I kind of had a weird way of deciding. I didn't like have a moment where I was like, this is where I want to go. Like as soon as I get on campus, I took a different route. And I don't know if you've ever seen the show like four weddings and they like label, give points to like categories, like venue, all that food, everything. Uh -huh. So I did that. It was like a page of different categories and Nebraska had the most points. That's awesome. So you come here and, you know, immediately as a freshman, you start doing big things, you know, we're voted a team captain as a sophomore, right? And um, you have all kinds of records. And I mentioned, you know, the All-American and, and you've been to the NCAA, you've qualified, all these things. I mean, your accolades are just crazy long. If you if you go on your bio on, you know, the website, how um, have you been able to get to that point? You know, once you kind of committed here and then uh, as you've grown as a swimmer and as an athlete to where you are, you know, competing as one of the best to ever do it here. I think it's really the people beside me. I could not be where I am today without the other girls pushing me in practices. The resources here at Nebraska as well, just like sports psych, going and talking to them if anything's wrong, nutrition, like eating right, getting all the, the things that I need right outside of the water as well as in the water. So I think, you know, again, you could, for people that are familiar with like basketball and there's a shooter that is, you know, on fire for a night, they're shooting the ball really well. You, when you get into the pool or you dive into the pool, how do you, is it kind of a different feeling when you kind of are about to have a, a race where you break a record or, or do something big? I wouldn't say so. Cause you could swim really fast when you feel horrible or you can swim really bad when you feel great. It just, uh, it depends on like how you're coming into the race. Like mentally, you have to be really prepared for it. You, my coach this past year was always like smile behind the blocks. Like it'll like raise your levels, you know, get you ready to race. And even like I have a, before my race, one of my things is to just stand in like a power stance, like hands on your hips, like ready, take deep breaths and just like prepare yourself for it. So you mentioned, you know, the, the Big Ten. What's the Big Ten conference like with swimming and diving? Can you kind of uh, break it down for us? Who's going to be the big com competition for you guys moving forward? Um, the Big Ten is such a hard conference. So many strong teams in the Big Ten. Um, last year, it was Ohio State that won the championship. And really, it's just so many like you could have standouts from so all of the teams but you have the mainly top teams of like ohio michigan indiana wisconsin they're going to be up there and then there's the middle pack and that's kind of where we've been fighting we've been battling it out in the middle and it's really just like trying to fight against these other girls like these standouts they'll do really good and you just have to be prepared be confident in yourself that you can achieve it so you became nebraska's first big 10 um champion in the 200 free and it was also a nebraska uh record time take us back through that that was last year right and yes. take us back uh, to that race and uh, you know how special that was for you to kind of do something that had never been done here before um so <laughs> I came into that Big Tens. We had only, we last year because of COVID, we could only have three dual meets in the span of like a month before Big Tens. So I came into Big Ten seated first and I tried not to let it get to my head because that's like a lot of pressure, your top dog going in. And uh, prelims race that morning, I once again was seated first for that night. And then just going in once again, my coach always like, he would say dad jokes before my race to try to get me to smile, just like messing around. And then like just being behind the blocks and like getting ready to go, just like knowing like, hey, you've done this before. You've done this a thousand times before. It's just another race. Just get out there, go. And I have a strategy where I back half the race. So I tend to like get, use a lot of speed in the back half and try to 
knock out the person next to me, you know? So it was just getting my hand on the wall first. And then seeing my teammates afterwards, granted they couldn't be on deck uh, because of COVID policies, but they were up in the stands cheering as loud as they could. And then being on the podium and then playing the Nebraska fight song as well. That's That's awesome. So everything that you've done here, I mean, you've, again, uh, you know, I mentioned so so many things that you've been able to accomplish, but in your senior season, what are you, do you have goals that you're kind of looking to do that you want to accomplish here this season? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I really want to go back to NCAAs. It's never a given if you're going to make it, but I really want to go back and I'm hoping top eight. It's a lofty girl goal, but I'm hoping I'll get there. And then I have time goals always in my head of where I want to be at the end of the season. So hopefully those can be obtained. But yeah. I know you're all focused in on, on this college season, but you also you know qualified for the Olympic trials. Mm-hmm. And um, did you and you competed up in Omaha? Yes. Was that how cool was that? It's always a great experience. This was my second trials. And this one, granted, it was different because there were two different waves. But being in wave one, I got to experience what like the top dogs of the normal Olympic trials get to go through. I got to have the cameras on me, be top seed, win an event, and then make it into wave two where you're just against harder competition. It was just so great to experience. Is that a goal of yours moving forward when you are done with your college career to maybe go try to make an Olympic team? I don't know if I'll make it another <laughs> three, four years, but... Uh, I am, there's a meet this upcoming summer, the World University Games, where I'll try to attempt to make it, hopefully, but we'll see. Okay, so for fans listening, because I mean, I personally have never been to a college swimming and diving meet. Um, What is it like? What's a duel like when you guys are going to Illinois um, tomorrow night on Saturday? What is, break it down for us. What, What all goes into it? So, uh, well, one, you guys, fans wouldn't be there to see us warm up unless you show up early, but we warm up before our meet and then we get ready. We come out, we do a lineup, a starting lineup. Basically they announce everyone on the team and then the anthem and then straight into relay, uh, the first relay. So you're behind the blocks and then whistle goes, you get in the water and it's silent and you take your marks, go, and everyone's just so loud. Uh, it really is a great experience. And then Nebraska has a tradition where before every single race, we do a go big red. One person on the team leads it and everyone responds. So it's really a nice moment to like, have as a team and as fan section as well. And then diving's going on as well. We usually have breaks and you can watch part of diving. So. And then you get points for depending on where each individual uh, finishes and then it all adds up to a team score, right? Yeah, so each place gets a different amount of points and relays are more points than individual races so yeah you just combine all those points to get the final winner so you guys are um again at illinois 11 a.m on uh, saturday but you are going to be home soon uh, against rutgers the 28th and 29th Mm -hmm. give us a sell why i mean why should fans kind of come check it out it's our senior meet it's our last home meet of the season. Rutgers is a tough competition for us. They've always, we've had a tough battle. A lot of the girls, we we like to banter and say that they're our biggest competition. So it really is, it's a great meet to go out to. It's a lot of loud noise, a lot of fun, a lot of interactions with fans, so. And uh, how big would this be, you know, these next couple of duels to kind of set you guys up to go into big tens and then potentially, you know, NCAAs? It's always just uphill. You always go into every race thinking that like this is one and done, leave it all in the pool. So every race is as big as the one as big tens. Awesome. And I did, before I let you get out of here, wanted to ask you, cause I mean, in addition to all the things you've done in the pool, you've done a lot of it in the classroom and one of those athletes that, uh, you know, again, has done so much good things academically. And that that's a big stress here at Nebraska. Um, Kind of how big was that for you? How important was that for you when you chose Nebraska, the academic part of all of it? The academics were like one of the main reasons I chose my school. I originally, I started out as an interior design major and I loved it, but I didn't have time for it in regards with swimming. So I switched my major over to ad PR and sports media. And I just, you need to concentrate on your school. School's first, you're a student before you're an athlete and just like getting it done in the school before in the pool. And double major that you're gonna graduate in May, what is that gonna mean to you to have a degree, two degrees 
from from Nebraska? I mean, it's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I'm so grateful to be here and to be able to compete for the the university. Well, Autumn Habig, we appreciate your time. Best of luck to you and the Husker swimming and diving team this weekend. And uh, hopefully we'll look forward to having a lot of fans turn out for you guys here in a couple of weeks when you're back at home. Yeah, thank you. All right. And uh, thank you to Autumn for joining us. And we we're going to step aside for a quick break here on Sports Nightly. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We're coming up right after this. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deto Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DetoSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You live in a smart home powered by Cox Internet, so you're not thinking about the pizza delivery. You're thinking how nice it is to get everyone together for a fun night. You're not thinking about the pizza. Maybe just a little. Cox Home Life. Show me the front porch camera. Pizza! View your Cox Home Life cameras right from your TV using your Contour voice remote. Visit cox.com slash thisishome to learn more. Advertised features require a subscription to Cox Internet and Contour TV. A high-speed internet connection is required. Home Life Security Services subject to Home Life Security Service Agreement. Cox Home Life Services provided by Cox Licensed Entities. See cox.com slash licenses. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. We make car buying easy at Woodhouse Chevy in Missouri Valley, Iowa, where we have a full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. See what Chevy has to offer and explore the 2022 Traverse, Blazer, or Equinox. From solo missions to a party of five, our SUVs are dressed to impress with spacious seating and cargo area so everybody can enjoy the ride. Find new roads in-store or online anytime at woodhousegm.com. United Healthcare believes small businesses are vital to our economy and an important part of our communities. Join United Healthcare in celebrating small businesses. I'm Rob Broomfield, United Healthcare of Nebraska CEO and a graduate of the University of Nebraska. We want to recognize your small business with the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio interviews, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit huskers.com front slash spotlight. United Healthcare, proud partner of Husker Sports. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? 
Well, they're even longer term than your sister's piano recital at church that time you drank a whole big cup of soda right before you left home and insisted to your mom that you didn't have to use the bathroom. We're talking that long term. Hi, it's Nick Luxinger from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 402-740-6445 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse First 18 brand, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you Friday night. Final few minutes of Sports Nightly for the week. Still time if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text. 402-413-2400. You have been monitoring a little wrestling action from Madison. How's, how are things yeah, going? Yeah, it's close. It's a 9-7 right now, Nebraska trailing, but uh, Taylor Vins doing well. They're in the third period there. Looks like he's going to hold on, probably win 6-1. to one. So Nebraska about to take the lead. They started at 149. Uh, so they started with that match that um, – Ridge love it that uh, Coach Manning told us would be a, a key match. It was close. It was a good one, but uh, Ridge comes up just short. So that was his first loss, I think, in duels. Yeah. Um, but uh, Mikey Labriola came came in and dominated, and then uh, Taylor Venn's about to get a win. So, uh, but it, it's exciting. I I love watching wrestling, and um, you know, this is the really good part of the Nebraska lineup. So they're fun to watch. Very good. There's been a really interesting story in our state that I know a lot of the other shows probably around the state have talked about through the week and that was the vacating of a state football championship at the class a level which is the largest class in the state of nebraska gretna here at memorial stadium back in november defeated omaha west side well the the uh, nebraska state activities association met yesterday and ruled that they were stripping the championship away from gretna because they used an illegal player in that game uh, apparently a young man his parents split he his dad had an apartment inside the Gretton district. That was the address he used for his home base. His uh, mother was in a Papillas, Papilla La Vista South district. Somebody shot, sounded the horn on this, the activity association trying to keep everything fair so that this doesn't become a trend voted unanimously to go ahead and strip Gretna of the title. Uh, I just saw this from uh, Luke Mullen from the Journal Star just tweeted that the drama continues. Gretna has now released a statement from their superintendent where they're claiming that Omaha Westside was the source of the complaint. Westside superintendent says we did not turn this in. This is messy. I, I feel horrible for all involved and you know you don't want schools to take advantage of rules and do this illegally i don't know that that was really the intent of this yeah and it just um it, it really stinks that it affects so many other kids that were a part of that championship winning team it's just heartbreaking and you know what a great season and then to have all this happen and uh, i i don't know obviously i'm not familiar with how the high school rules work here and kind of what the protocols are to kind of get someone cleared and all of that but um, I don't know if there was something that could have been done to avoid it, but yeah, it, it, it just your heart just breaks for those yep. kids that were a part of that team that went out and, and won that state title. And I just I I can't believe as a competitor the players on the opposing team would want to win that way. Well, and they're not going to give them the title. They're not. No, okay. it's just there's just no winner. No what, winner. Just decri- in fact, Crypto was asking about that. So Westside isn't now declared the champions. There's just a vacated title. It'll show nobody won the Class A wow. title in 2021, the young men, and whatever sport it is, whether it's volleyball, soccer, in, pick your sport, what they give the student-athlete is a medal, not a trophy, but a little medal. And they did say they're going to let the Gretna kids keep their medal, but they can't go in their gym or whatever, display a banner saying that they were the football champions. What are they going to do if they display it? Probably have to take, they'll probably I mean, have Oklahoma to. State when the <laughs> whoever the team is that they beat back in like 1919 or 1920 or whatever 
uh, they have it displayed in their stadium. They put up a banner, and it's not – I don't even think it's – is it recognized that they were the cha- – but they – so they put it up that they're the national champions from 1921 or whatever because whoever the team was got theirs vacated. A lot, so. a lot of schools, and whether it's college, high school, have had to vacate championships. But, yeah, don't they still keep it somewhere uh, They're still going to claim it. They want it. Yeah, it's a tough story. A lot of emotions, as you can imagine. I mean, there's a lot of pride that goes into high schools and winning titles, and particularly a football championship in Nebraska played here at Memorial Stadium. And so, yeah, it's got a lot of people up in arms about uh, this whole thing, and everybody's picking sides. And they're probably going to get some lawyers involved before this whole thing is said and done. Yeah, again, I, I don't I don't know if there's what could have been done to avoid it and, you know, who – it's crazy how it turns into who blew the whistle uh-huh. and oh yeah you know i mean and blaming the other team and um, i'm innocent i'm i was just saying i did not i didn't know enough about this to be the guilty party i mean are thing, you so. are you being a sore loser type of thing you know i, I don't know i mean so it, it bottom line it just it's just really really heartbreaking for those kids that um are having to go through this I, i'm sure they're yeah. just like really devastated by all this having to kind of go through this and see it all kind of play out in the headlines i doubt there's been much learning going on in the hallways of gretna high school for the last <laughs> couple of days everybody's probably been up in arms about this we've got some college all-star games going on this weekend jeremiah referenced that last hour with you i just saw deontay williams is playing in a college all-star game this weekend he tweeted out uh, some video i think a hit that he put on in one of the practice sessions imagine that deontay williams with a big hit uh, so we wish him good luck. We know that Austin Allen's getting ready to take part in one. JoJo's getting ready to take part in one. So good luck to all those guys. And how about Ben Stilley and uh, Damian Daniels got an invite to the Shrine Bowl, good. which is a yeah. big opportunity. Ben played in the Hula Bowl last week. And did well. Did well. Yeah, he got uh, interviewed, so, which I'm sure he loved. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's not very – he doesn't like to talk. I know. He's He, he doesn't. Well, he's ghosting you right now. I You've know. I tried to, to reach out. I tried to get him on the show. Maybe he'll uh, – He'll get back to me at some point, but you know, you just heard Jeremiah talking about they're still trying to figure out which guys they extend invites to. It's such a big class, and so many guys that are, are you know the young guys, and then the older guys. That how do you figure out which guys to invite to the combine? But there's still opportunities. So if you know they go out and ball out in the Shrine Bowl, these are two guys that could potentially still maybe get to the combine. Absolutely, we wish them all the best of luck. We're back with our winners and losers for the week next. Isn't it about time to add a new piece of Husker gear to your closet? Check out the new 255 collection, inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. From Hastings to Lincoln, coach to statesman, leader to legend. Thomas William Osborne, it's all in the name. It's all in the numbers, 255 wins. This is TWO55. Get yours today at shop.huskers.com or other participating retailers. For more information, visit huskers.com slash 255. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Don't let the cold winter worry you. As Nebraska's leading supplier of propane, you can count on Sap Brothers to keep your family warm this winter. You're like family, and your safety is the number one priority of Sap Brothers. When it comes to your propane needs, Sap Brothers has you covered. Visit www.sapbros.net slash petroleum to find your local Sap Brothers propane expert. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests, Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season 
and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. I'm Bruce Chubbuck, and I'm your local Flat Branch Home Loans lender. At Flat Branch Home Loans, we pride ourselves on living, working, and playing in the communities we serve. In my playing days at the University of Nebraska, I was known as a blue-collar worker. I take the same pride in being your mortgage professional as I did in representing Husker Nation. Head to brucechubbuck.com to learn more. Let's get you home. A division of Flat Branch Mortgage, Inc., NMLS 224149, equal housing lender. For licensing info, go to nmlsconsumeraccess.org. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. We've reached that point of the program and of the week to name some winners and losers. What are you looking at? So I will start with my winner, so I have plenty of time to talk about it. Shout out to Nick and Maddie Burkhart, oh, yeah. who uh, announced this week that they are expecting, they'll have their uh, first child that I believe is coming in May. Uh, so congratulations to them. They're going to be fantastic parents. They've been so great to me. So they're my winners, not only because they're, you know, announced that they're having a kid, but the way they announced it too. Did you see awesome. their video? It was really clever. So I have it on my uh, Twitter if you want to go look at it. But of course, Nick, who's the director of uh, creative and emerging media, had to bust out the best baby announcement video ever created. Uh, his name is Nick. It was uh, based around Nick Jr. programming. And so it was really super cute and uh, two great people and couldn't be happier for them. So that is my week winners. Okay. How about your loser? Uh, Penny Hardaway. <laughs> Wow, yeah. they're struggling. Well, so they lose three in a row, and then he goes to his post-game press conference and just goes off on the media, dropping F-bombs left and right. And I understand you get frustrated with media questions. I mean, look around here. I mean, even, you know, some of the coaches, I'm sure, get frustrated, but you don't have to cuss people out, right? Right, exactly. And so he said, stop asking me stupid F-bomb questions about it. <laughs> if I feel like I can do something, if I had my roster like they did, then I feel like I could do whatever I want to do. So just lost it in his post-game presser. Love it. Yeah, he was. that was really, really bad look. My winner, Zach Tater, former Husker coach of the Bengals, got their first, led that team and that franchise to their first playoff win in 30 years. And then he stopped by a little pub near the stadium and kind of shared the, the whole thing with the fans. That was so cool. Zach is one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. So happy for him and wish them luck tomorrow against the Titans. I think they have a shot. My loser is television anchor Tim Err from W. <laughs> S-A-Z. I'm sure everybody has seen the video of the reporter doing a one-man band live shot. She gets hit by a car. Well, Tim Err is the anchor back at the station. Jessica took him 42 seconds to go, are you okay? That should have been his first response. I did see that she tweeted it because I think he got a lot of hate. And he so did. she uh, posted, I'm fine. I do want to um, defend Tim. He did call me and ask me. He couldn't see what was going on, but... I don't believe that. I don't. I Every mean, did he TV not have a monitor? You've got monitors all over the place to yeah, see what's happening. Yeah, so, but it, it was just kind of. I don't think he knew what to say. <laughs> I think like, it just... He said, well, that's a first for me. <laughs> it's a first for you, buddy. She about got <laughs> run over. Oh, it, yeah, that was wild. I it, used to do local news. I mean, I couldn't imagine getting back up in that situation. I know. And just yeah. rolling with it. And she had such a positive attitude. She's like, I'm good. We're good. She's telling the driver, you're good, ma'am. You're so nice. Oh, it was incredible. We're good. Last day on the job for her there. She's now moved up to market to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So good bump for her. She's going to rock on her way to the network after that deal right there. <laughs> hey, our Sports Alley Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance. Buy online at Woodhouse. Com. Everybody enjoy your weekend. We're back with a full show for you on Monday. Thanks to the cast of thousands here helping us tonight. Enjoy the weekend. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Wherever your path leads, the Mazda CX-30 is made to help you follow it. With an invigorating design and elegant cabin, the Mazda CX-30 will give you a drive worth experiencing. 
Powered by a turbocharged engine, the dynamic performance and premium stitching makes every moment worth savoring. Shop our Mazda CX-30 lineup at one of our two convenient locations at Woodhouse Mazda in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place just off 144th and Giles Road. Online at woodhousemazda.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Flu season is here, and you can get your flu shot now at your Hy-Vee Pharmacy. It's easy, convenient, and you can schedule your appointment online. Just go to hyvee.com slash myfarmacy. Plus, when you get your flu shot at Hy-Vee, you get a 20-cent Hy-Vee fuel saver. This year, it's more important than ever to stay healthy. So go online to hyvee.com slash myfarmacy today to